When we record dimensions in our dimension column, we follow a specific order. Following this order means that other quantity surveyors can very easily see and follow what we've measured. This specific order is length times width times depth, or in some instances, length, width times height. Let's look at an example. The first example is a superficial item and if we imagine a physical quantity, let's imagine a wall. So here we have a wall which is 8 metres long by 2 metres high. Our second example is a cubic measurement. Here we have the length times the width times the depth. So if we were going to imagine the physical quantity that this represented, say excavation of trench, we have a trench which is 14 and a half metres in length, 750 millimetres wide and 900 millimetres deep.